think I'm tired. I should rest. That should be enough rest. First, I want to know where my sister is. I wonder if Karin is in Seiron. So Naomi is in Other, and in Seiron. I think I got the gist of everything that's been going on based on what Major General Karin said. I'm not doubting it, but people actually changing into others? None of you saw it happen, so I'm sure it's hard to believe. But it's the truth. My sister was turned into another. I will help my sister. That's why I'm with Seiron. Are you feeling all right, Kasane? The brain field was a big strain on you. It was horrible, but I'm fine. There weren't really any after effects. I was very emotional. I think that's why I wasn't able to use it very well. That's what happens when you go off by yourself. You're lucky we got to you. It's a skill used in the OSF, but getting yourself all whacked every time you use it is probably not good. It's all about how you use it. It's a double-edged sword that can cost you your life. That's what strength is. Yes, that's true. Just don't use it too much, okay, Kasane? Yes, I'll be careful. Hey guys, got a minute? Oh, Haruka. Since you're sending messages, does that mean you're in Seiron? Yes, I wasn't invited by Major General Karin, but I felt like I could do something in Seiron. So, I put in a request to be your platoon operator. Our platoon? We've been reorganized? Yeah, that's why I contacted you. Seiron has created the Seiron OSF with Major General Karin in charge. I guess it's about half the size of the old OSF. So Half really did come to Seiron. I'm guessing things are going to get pretty rough now in Suo. Kasane, Kyoka, Arashi, Shiden, Kagero, you five were placed into first platoon. The commander is Kasane. Good luck. <sighs> Looks like first platoon already has a mission. First, you need to go see Major General Karin and get your orders directly. The location is Seiron OSF Headquarters. That's our HQ from now on. I guess we're already pawns in their game. Oh well, here we go. It feels like a platoon full of troublemakers. Maybe Garin thought we'd be easier to handle this way. I'm glad we're all together. We can still use the hideout as well. Good thing Karin summoned us. Let's go to Seiron OSF HQ right away. You're here. Yes, it's just like you said. We were able to get here without any issues. Could you at least face people when talking to them? You haven't changed since you were a child. <sighs> oh my, that's awfully courteous of you, Karin. I'm pretty surprised you would trust us so soon after our exile. I never said I trusted you, and I don't care if you don't trust me either. However, it's clear that we both want the same thing. Besides, Kasane is a hero to Seiron for assassinating Chairman Sumeragi. That's... Do you have a problem with being a hero? I'm not interested in being anybody's hero, but I suppose Seiron is looking to use that to their advantage. Good, you're smart. Having you be a hero will help us tremendously in Seiron. What are you asking me to do? Look at this. This must be the area around Kunad Highway. Wait, the sky. We saw that in the future. <gasps> Whoa there, I'm not sure you should be sharing that. Wouldn't want anybody here thinking you've got loose lips. Sh shut up, I know, it just slipped out. Everything all right? No, it's nothing. Shiden just got a little freaked out by such an unbelievable sight. Huh? Oh, are you still freaking out? Yeah, just just a little freaked out. It seems small. The Kunar gate we saw in the future was much bigger. Probably just needs time. 
So this is going to expand and destroy the world. <sighs> well, I can't say for sure just from this video. The data seems to show that there is some gravitational anomaly. Exactly. They were able to confirm an extremely localized gravitational anomaly above the Kunad Highway. We've named this phenomenon the Kunad Gate and decided to send experts to see if we can get more information on it. The Kunad Gate. Everything starts there. And that's where you all come in. Your mission is to escort the investigation team there with me. You'll be working as members of the OSF for Ceyron. Your duties won't be any different from before. That's fine, but how was Naomi? My answer will depend on... We can talk about that after we escort the investigation team. We need to show Ceyron that you're all useful and ready to support the cause. So that's how you play your politics, Major General Karin. It's trivial, but we need to at least do the bare minimum. That doesn't sound like something a person who just started a rebellion would say. You okay with that? Yes. I'm not happy about it, but I'll play along for now. We shouldn't tell Karin we went to the future. We can't trust him. You were right to share information with me. As I expected, someone almost screwed it up. I already apologized for that! Let it go already! We're like two peas in a pod! I have to finish this mission fast and ask Karin about Naomi. Hang on, Naomi. How frightening. Is it drawing in everything around it? I wonder what would happen if you get sucked inside. Oh, I know. Hey, Sheedin, stick your finger inside it. Stick your own head inside it. Okay, okay, you guys are hilarious, but don't go near the gate even as a joke. Curiosity killed the cat, you know. This almost feels like the power of the red strings. The same gravitational powers Yuito and I both share. If I'm to believe in this feeling, then future Huito is right. But when you used your time travel power, it didn't disappear because my power resonated with yours. Not only that, every time I used my power, the gate would warp and suck in the surrounding space. Should I tell Karin that Yuito is somehow causing this? But I don't have any evidence to back it up. Kasane. Uh, yes? Did you jump into the future? What are you talking about? Feigning ignorance isn't going to work. It's clear you knew about the Kunat Gate. No, this is the first I'm seeing it. Don't waste my time. What happened in the future? Answer me. He isn't just assuming, he's almost sure of it. Then there's no point in trying to hide it. I should try to find out what I can from him. I met you as the world was about to end. Did you know it was me right away? What? Yes, you looked like you do now. Now that I think about it, Yuito had aged, but Karin looked exactly the same. Did he just not age, or could it be something else? What did future me say? You told me that if I had gone to the future earlier, you could have found a cure to metamorphosis. I see. What do you know, Karin? 
If you know how to cure metamorphosis, then you can save Naomi. Sauron has labs that are conducting research on others. For now, that's really all I can tell you. And that's where Naomi is? Yes, she's being held there. Where is the lab? I can't tell you. It's highly classified research, and only authorized personnel are allowed in the facility. So I'm not authorized? If you won't tell me. My deepest apologies for interrupting, but apparently they've finished working on the probe. We're ready to leave. Understood. And with that, your mission comes to a close. Feel free to do whatever you want until I contact you again. Wait, Karin! Arashi, why did you stop me? You lose all perspective when it comes to Naomi. Maybe that's why I just can't ignore you. Anyway, I know you want to go to that lab, so you'd be smart not to rock the boat here. What do you mean? If you want to act without the higher-ups' consent, then at least pretend that you're an obedient soldier. You're going to help me look for Naomi? Isn't it obvious? I do consider you a friend, after all. Besides, I am concerned about Naomi. The other research sounds interesting as well. Okay. I feel better knowing that I have your help. Let's gather any info we can on this lab. In any case, we should stop by the hideout. Let's go. Even if you don't need it, being invisible is fun. I see. So that's what you're up to. Sorry to keep you waiting. Oh, you're all here. Arashi, how could you and Kasane be planning all this fun without us? Oh, you can be so cold sometimes. I don't remember having to answer to some nosy wannabe assassin. I have no idea what you're talking about. So, you're basically planning on letting Kasane take all the blame while keeping everything a secret. I think it's in your best interest to keep in mind that I don't trust you one bit. I was wondering about that too. Kagero, why did you kill Chairman Sumeragi? Look, he isn't the type to tell us the truth, so we should just let it go for now. That's awfully rude to say in front of me. Better than saying it behind your back. Don't forget what my power is. If you go invisible, I'll take that as a sign of hostility. Oh, duplication. I wouldn't want anyone else watching over me. <laughs> anyway, were you really planning on investigating this secret laboratory without letting us know? I wasn't trying to keep it a secret. I just haven't had a chance to tell you. That's basically the same as keeping it a secret. We can't just let the two of you go investigate by yourselves. It's far too dangerous. Hold on. We really were going to tell you, honest. Besides, we can't easily pull it off with just the two of us. I looked into this lab, and it's going to be way harder to get in than I thought. You found out where it is? Yeah. I thought I'd have trouble with that, but Saron's security wasn't hard to crack. Well, maybe for you. Okay. Then let's go now. Whoa there, wait a second. You sure then? We're coming with you. That's fine with me. Besides... Based on what Ara she said, it wouldn't be a good idea to go alone. I just want to be clear that this isn't an official operation. We're planning on breaking in without telling Karin or Seiron. Things may get messy, but if that's fine with you, then you can come. Well, that's all you needed to say. I'd be more than happy to provide my services to you. Honestly, Kasane, we're friends. 
You don't need to hesitate to come to us for help. Ah, oh, I suppose going against the government so quickly after our exile is on brand for us. Haruka. I've prepared a relatively safe route using the information Arashi provided. Thank you. I'll leave the navigation to you. I'm not sure they could have designed a place to look more suspicious than this. He might even think it was on purpose. Sorry guys, I can't access the internal data from here. Don't worry, I've got this. Follow me. There's a locked gate. I think it needs a key card. This lock looks hard to break. It would be faster to just find the key. Maybe some forgetful staff worker dropped their key card somewhere. How'd you unlock it so damn fast? When did you have the time to do that? I want to say it was a piece of cake, but I didn't have time to hack any of the others. According to what I found, there's more than a few of these security gates around the facility. It's going to be a real pain. Knowing that is enough. We can do the rest on our own. Be careful, everyone.
like there's a resource reading around here. We can't give up. These others, were they all people? I really hope that's not the case. Leave it to me. I can't see which of them were people and which weren't. We can't think about it now. We just have to press on. With that oil, it'll be hard to move if it gets on you, so be careful. like that? Try electrokinesis. There's something on the floor here. It's a key card. Wait, is that blood? Hmm, maybe one of the researchers was killed by another. I think we can use this.
sometimes. I'll support you. museum. There was a plan to build a whole academic city nearby. A museum. Now that you mention it, it does give me that feeling. Time to fight back! 
Thank you. I'm better now. There's a gate, but it looks like it needs a key card. Where can we get one? Using the Sheeta. It seems to be locked. We might be able to open it using my power, though. Kasane, try it out. Hey, I thought this was an other research laboratory, but it looks more like a factory. What gives? And that strange smell. What is that? It's starting to make me nauseous. What in the world are they making here? Huh? Aren't those... ampules? They're the same ones the Ceyron military dropped. Ceyron military? 
What are you talking about? Hmm. So the Ceyron garrison dropped an ampule like this when they took Naomi away after she turned into an other. That is a Ceyron laboratory after all, so it wouldn't be that odd for the garrison to have something from there. But you said you saw an ampule like that in your home when you were a child. Yes. I think it's connected to Randall Industries, since they had partnerships with the pharmaceutical company as well. You're talking about Spring Pharmaceuticals. That's your family's company, right, Arashi? Do you know anything about it? Yeah, it's my family's company, but unfortunately I don't know anything about this facility or the ampules. The OSF had me doing annoying promotional work. Oh well, that just means we need to scoop up any information we can now. What are you up to now? The key to intelligence gathering is to obtain information as quickly and precisely as possible. Wow, Arashi. It's like their security doesn't even exist to you. Looks like they thought they were safe enough with a closed system. I should be able to get into the root... Wait, what is this? What did you find? Share the data you have. Oh, what have we here? A valuable asset in a battle with New Himuka. An other weapon? Uh, this video. They're transplanting human brains into others. Connected to an other through SAS in order to control it. Being together. What a sickening idea. However, based on the data, it doesn't look like they've completed this project. No, that's not it. It seems they haven't succeeded with ordinary others. This experiment is even more horrifying than we thought. In order to increase the compatibility with the SAS, they're using others that were... originally human. No! That's barbaric! Oh boy. Major General Karin had some terrible things to say about Nuhimuka, but I'm not sure Seiron is any better. Why did he try to hide this facility from us? Naomi... I have to find Naomi! Stop! Get yourself together! If you blow our cover now, it will all be over! <sighs> yes, you're right. Arashi, can you find out where Naomi might be? I'll get on that right now. There's a large, high-security area up ahead. Seems pretty fishy to me. Okay, let's make our way over there then. We should at least confirm her status, see if she's okay. According to the data, this is definitely a Spring Pharmaceuticals factory. Seiron and Spring Pharmaceuticals are working together. It won't open. Maybe we need another key card. Let's investigate this area, Lil. We might learn something. <sighs> this is... Some kind of control mechanism. Hmm. Arashi, it's your turn. <sighs> yeah, yeah. I don't mean to complain, but this is a lot of work for one door. Hold on. What the heck am I looking at here? <gasps> That's another, isn't it? The console was a decoy! I'm getting multiple other readings, you guys! Stay on your toes! We'll take them out! Yeah. I saw something similar when I was going through the data. It was listed as an other that had a human brain to be sold in it. Hold on, you needed one of those experimental other weapons? 
models are done. Something's moving around my feet. They're looking for us. Watch out, Kasane. Focus in attack. Nice setup. You got this, Kasane. I'm borrowing this. Making good.
This must be that suspicious area Arashi mentioned. It certainly is big. The air. The smell. What is this sound? Hearing it makes me feel sick. A brain talk connection with Naomi. That must mean she's nearby. I've confirmed a reading for Naomi. Wait, you shouldn't. I'll be right there, Naomi. You're in here. Back away from the door. I'm breaking it down. You don't have to do that. I can unlock it. No, don't open it. done to you, Naomi. What the hell is that? Why is Naomi another? I'm sorry, Naomi. It's because you protected me. It's okay, Kasane. I'm glad you're okay. <laughs> But... It really is okay. I'm glad you're well. Yes. Thanks to you. What... What are you doing here? Hey, Naomi. We wanted to come and check to see that you were okay. It's not just that. I want to save you. Thank you. But I'm fine like this. There's no way I'd be able to have a life out there. I'm an other now. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Okay, I think that's enough. You can't just keep apologizing to Naomi. She's right. And hey, right now you're both alive and breathing. Isn't that something to be happy about? Major Kyoka, I'm sorry. I'm sorry it had to happen like this. No, it's all right. How are you doing? The people here haven't hurt you, have they? I'm fine. The people here are very kind, even to an other like me. <laughs> Naomi? But when I don't take the ampules, it really hurts, and I can't... Give me the... Please, you have to go. Please forget about me. No! I was finally able to find you! Kasane! She's right. It's what your sister wants you to do. 
So you came. <laughs> Major General Karin? Yeah, well, this isn't very surprising. Seems like you had us dancing to your tune all along. Naomi is able to maintain her personality with the medication and the ampules, but the effects are only temporary. The only way to save her is to revert her to her human state. And to do that, we need your power. Are you telling the truth? If you're trying to use my sister as an other weapon... That is simply what they tell Ceyron. This facility's true purpose is to revert humans that have been metamorphosed into others back to their original state. And tell me what I need to do! You'll need to be at full strength. I'll need some time to prepare as well. Continue exterminating others until we're ready. Bide your time. I promise you Naomi will be safe. I don't like it, but I'll go with it for now. Then go back to Ceyron and hold tight on standby. Don't do anything so rash again. Since we're ordered to stay in Ceyron, why don't we go shopping in town? Right, we should stock up and get medical supplies. Hey, you're coming too, Kasane. Huh? Oh, right. Fine. <laughs> 